Well, hello everybody and welcome to Micro Plugin Tutorial Series. Today, I'll be talking about adding Folia support to your plugin. I'll be showing you a way that makes your plugin work automatically on 1.7, 1.8, especially a lot of people still requested that, to 1.20 and newer plus Folia without it breaking so that these code changes will be cross-version compatible. Now, to learn more about Folia, please refer back to the previous video in this chapter. I leave a link to it in this video's description. So, to make Folia work in your plugin, most of these changes are related to the scheduler because as I explained in the last video, the scheduler has has been rewritten such that there isn't a global ticking mechanism. Instead, there's these regions that tick independently. So we'd have to utilize a special scheduler inside Folia as well. Luckily, if you import paper API inside your POM file, which I teach you in, I believe, episode two, you should have access to all of it. So we don't have to use any reflection at all. Just make sure to use paper API right here. And then on 1.20 and newer paper ships Folia methods as well. So you can make easy cross compatibility plugin uh, that will load on both non-folia and folia. Now, I already prepared these changes right here in my CoCanon class on my GitHub. A reason being is very simple. All it takes is 63 lines. And I assume that you already have knowledge of Java and you already know how to make Minecraft plugins. If you don't, please check out Project Orion. It is a full seven week training with myself personally twice per week that's going to show you how to code in Java, how to make beautiful micro plugins. And if you don't like it, there is a full 30 day money back guarantee on it. Again, the link is in this video's description. However, I assume that you already know the basics. So I'll just go ahead and I'll explain what I've made this class in. So this class is a public final class called scheduler. And then it has a single field called is folia that will simply return true if the version of our server contains the name folia. Because if you launch slash version command, it'll say something to do with folia, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just check for that. And then it has one, two, three main methods. And two of them are using a helper class. The reason for this class is very simple. There is a different method for canceling the task right here. And unfortunately, Folia creates a what's called scheduled task object, whereas Bucket works with Bucket task. And if you attempt to load this plugin on 1.8 or 1.20 without Folia, otherwise it will crash. By the way, the full source code to it is in my blog post, to which there is also a link in this video's description. So you can just copy paste this inside your own plugin easily. And so this task simply holds a Folia task or bucket task. It has two constructors, each for each. And then when it comes to canceling, we'll simply cancel the one that is not null. Assuming folia is not null, we'll cancel that. Else we'll cancel the one from bucket. Very simple. Now, first method, very simple, just a run method. That means it's going to be run on the next tick and it's going to be run on the main thread when it comes to bucket or the global region scheduler when it comes to folia. So very simple, I check is folia and then I open a bucket, get global region scheduler, which again is, is also available on paper. If you just import paper, you don't have to import folia. So this is good. And then we'll, we're going to, we are going to just call execute. Now you'll notice that there isn't any distinction between sync and async methods because the entire sync and async is not present in folia because everything runs in a different sort of way. So should you be able, should you want to run this async, let me just copy paste and show you the change. All that we would do is leave the folia code the same and then only change the run task to run task asynchronously under bucket. That is all that there is to it. And obviously the same goes for all the for, for the two other methods. So again, if there is folia present, we're, we're, we're just going to execute the task which takes in our plugin instance and then the task itself. Otherwise, I'll just call the good old bucket scheduler run the task this way. Now, when it comes to running the task later with a delay in ticks, all we have to do 
is open up the global region scheduler again and then run the late. However, this one is a bit more complicated because actually it takes a consumer, which I simply create right here. And then when it's going to consume something, I'll just run the actual runable and then I place the delay ticks inside right here. And then I've wrapped the entire thing inside the task, which is something that I return. You can store the task instance anywhere you want and cancel it when you need to, to prevent it from running later. Now, same goes for the timer, except that now we're calling run at fixed rate using the same principle. And then, however, folia does not work if I place delay zero. So if the delay is less than one, I'll just set it to one manually. Otherwise, I'll just write what we placed right here. And then please note that these two are also in ticks. I can just try to rename them for uh, user accessibility. However, now it overflows my screen. Anyways, same goes for here. Else, if, if you're running on bucket, I'll, I'll just call the bucket related methods and I wrap it in a new task. As I explained, should you wish to run this timer async, just like this one, the folia must stay the same. However, for bucket, all you have to do is just uh, rewrite this place asynchronously at the very end. It is going to work. I'm not going to be using this in this video. However, you can copy paste this and make the change if, if you want. Now, again, if you want to, to run this timer and then cancel it later, just keep the task somewhere and then you can cancel it later. That's pretty much it that there is to it for this class. And also we have is folia public static getter. Now, the second thing, and this is the most important one, is inside your plugin.yml, I added folia-supported and I set it to, tr to true because folia explicitly needs that option for every single plugin to simply asks, ask the plugin author to declare that it is compatible. So that's one thing. And then the final change that I made was in the cowcanoon class. So we used to store our bucket runable right here. Now we're just storing the actual task that we're creating. So right here, I simply use the scheduler dot run timer instead of calling get server get scheduler. I simply call my own class right here. Unfortunately, I was not able to fix the scoreboards. And then as I later discovered current broken APIs on Folia GitHub says that the all scoreboard APIs in, is considered broken and it's a global state that the author did not fix. So he did not figure it out. Maybe you can help him if you have enough knowledge. However, for now it's broken and we can't use it. So I simply create if condition right here. If we are not using folia, then we're just going to uh, run it. If we're using folia, nothing will happen. And then at the end right here, I just deleted bucket that get schedule scheduler is currently running so that we only check if the task is not null, assuming it is running if it's there. And then I just call cancel, which will, which will call this method, which will cancel depending on the platform. Very simple. So there isn't much to it. There might, there might be more changes, but this is the 80%. If you want to learn about one more change that I actually discovered that is not documented right here, it says could be more, but I know that there is more. By the way, guys, so world loading and unloading and entity teleport and most APIs that interact with portals, respawning, some player login API is broken. Please, you know, read this to keep yourself up to date. However, there is one more thing that I discovered that is the conversation API. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. If you want to create a new conversation and you have a player and you call player begin conversation, that one appears to be broken. However, I figured out a so, sort of a hack to fix it. I'll just show this to you guys real quick. This one is in my foundation library. So here, and by the way, guys, if you want to understand packets and protocol lib, we actually have a video about that so that you will be able to pretty much implement the same to your own plugin. So I, sim I simply have a receiving listener for the client chat packet. And then when I, when I attempt to receive the message as the server, when the player sends a message to the server, I simply ask if the player is conversing and then I called player accept conversation input and then I canceled the event such as a bucket will not properly process it, but it'll simply pass it on to the conversation and then it appears to have fixed it. However, this is not a very clean solution. It's a hacky workaround, but if you're struggling with conversation API, that one appears to do the work for now. This is it. Let me go and let me test the plugin. First of all, I'm going to test it on 1.8 because a lot of people still use it. So we're having some weird nacho speak at fork 1.8 and it appears to be working flawlessly. The attention folks is an actual task. So that one is utilizing our custom class and you can even reload it. 
to see that the task has been cancelled properly and restarted again because if i move the hype should go up there we go 1.8 works and there we have it we have folia which appears also to be working there's no issues in the console whatsoever let me just type in version to confirm we're running folia indeed and then let me try reload to see that reloading is actually not supported on folia i did not know that okay so maybe the internal issue is re reloaded is related to protocol lib however it appears to be broken that one has nothing to do with my plugin because if you look at the stack trace the mine academy is nowhere to be found if i'm not mistaken there we go so you know unfortunately not everything works in folia yet that is why they made it a little bit more difficult to obtain and here is 1.20 paper which is running properly with our scoreboard so that's it guys for this video to learn more about packets please refer back to a couple of videos ago that i made in this very free minecraft tutorial series to learn more about folia check the last video that i made and to learn more about making your own beautiful micro plugins check out project orion it is a beautiful training it's a lot to cover it has zoom live coaching calls 30-day money-back guarantee and a full mini games week as well as how to sell your plugins online make some money on the side week as well as just a tons of stuff on how to make beautiful advanced micro plugins thanks so much and i'll see you guys next time